Well, we're almost done. Construction six. And in my last video, you might have noticed that I have a magazine to help so that I'm not putting my compass on glass. It is a fairly recent copy of Wired Magazine. So just in case you're wondering what that is, now you know. We're going to now um, construct a congruent angle. Now remember, definitions are so important. An angle are two rays that share a vertex. A vertex is a point, and a ray starts at a point and goes on forever. We don't have to have it orientated in the same direction or even level with this. We just want the amount of degrees here to be the same when we draw it over here. So let's start with our definition. We've got a point. We have a ray leaving that point. Done. Now, we want to copy the same amount of inclination. So, what I do is I put this on the point, and yes, this is how we start angle bisectors, but be careful, that's not what you're doing. Don't let your mind drift. And we draw an arc. We're going to measure how much arc in a moment, but first of all, I want to draw the same amount of arc equidistant from the vertex. So, I come over here, and I draw. Now, getting this okay? Hopefully it's dark enough for the camera. Good. Now, I can measure from above or below. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to use this compass, like I did in Construction 1, to measure a length. And the length I want is measured from this point to this point. So I'm going to kind of use it like a captain's and I gotta make a little fine-tuning but this is the mark I'm looking for right here right here is the mark I'm looking for it proves that I've measured from here to here and since I measure from bottom to top I'll measure from bottom to top here I put this down at the intersection You'll notice this point always goes where there's an established point, and here I've established a point. I put that there, and I scribe that up there. Now two points establish a line, so one, two. And when I connect those two with a new ray, I have the same amount right there. Now. Don't believe me? Well, let's find out. I put this here. And if I go back and forth, you shouldn't see a difference. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. There you go.